Good afternoon. Actually, it is noontime on Thursday, the last day of the Pizza Expo and Conference in the West Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center. The Pizza Expo is the largest expo of its kind anywhere in the world. And I'm told that attendance early on was terrific. I can't wait to go into Pizza Expo. This is the 37th year of the show, but there's always something new to learn and to see. Love this sign. Go ahead, get messy. This is Brian, and I'm at a booth called Beyond Meat, and it looks to me like pepperoni pizza and chicken pizza. What is it? <laughs> so, we make our meat from plants. Uh, the protein in there is not your classic soy or gluten. It's actually made from peas, pea protein. We get our fat from places like coconut oil and cocoa butter. That's why it's what you, when you see in here these little fat nodules, it actually comes from cocoa butter. And uh, we get our colors from all the stuff in the plant kingdom. A lot of beet juice, some pomegranate juice. Simple as that. Now, where is your company located? Our headquarters are in El Segundo, Southern California. But we produce this stuff now just about anywhere in the world. We got a plant in the Netherlands. Uh, we're over in China as well. So, growing quick. Now, I would, yes, I would think this would be popular, uh, growing in popularity. Okay. At the end of the day, we got a big planet to feed. It's, uh, it's less resource intensive to feed them on plants than it is to feed those plants to the animals and then eat the animals. Okay. So we're just trying to help out and make some tasty, efficient food. Okay. I am now going to taste your product. Bob. I tasted this and it was delicious. It's not real pepperoni, but it tastes like it. It's delicious and the chicken was very good. Uh, my piece was a little spicy, which I love. I asked what is Carmelina and I was told by a young lady at this booth that they specialize in imports from Italy, beans and tomatoes. And I said, well, why do you have to get tomatoes from Italy? And she says, because they are the best in the world. They're grown in the shadows of Mount Ves Vesuvius. And if you want the best, you will order from Carmelina. My goodness, this uh, expo seems to be quite a bit fancier and finer than I had remembered in the past. Lots of big booths and big signs. This is Allison Dollar, and I stopped at this booth. It is Power Bomb Pizza, and I didn't know what it was. Explain, Allison. Yes, yeah, so there's a whole trend right now where celebrities and people like influencers, sports stars, all those kind of folks want to have their own food brand, food products. Okay. And they don't know how to run restaurants or kitchens or do anything or make the food. And so what we do is Kitchen Data Systems, which is the parent company, match those celebrities up with pizzerias, in this case, who can uh, fulfill and make those awards for them. And the benefit to the pizza kitchens is that they get a new revenue stream because the celebrity brings all their fans that are ready and willing to buy their branded product from their heroes. And so in this case, the heroes of Powerbomb people are WWE pro wrestlers that have uh, lots of experience dealing with fans Touching and obviously a big fan base that are ready and willing to buy in the way that usually it's fulfilled through Uber Eats or the other delivery platforms. So the Pizza Kitchen makes it with the menu in the box. They can also co-brand actually, which a lot of our, our kitsch partners, we call them, co-brand on the box. And it makes their sales lift. We give back a little bit to the wrestlers and their families. Now, obviously they all take a piece and uh, everybody ends up happy. I see. Okay, the boxes are quite attractive. At least the, the I'm looking here. Yeah, want me to bring it over? Got it. Yeah, and so you can now. How do you find where to buy these pizzas? On 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 the delivery app platforms like Uber Eats and uh, the other ones that are, are you know out there. They they will say yeah, so they we have can. We a partnership with them too. 
So we do all the matching between the brand, the celebrity brand, the kitchen, and the delivery platforms like Uber. I'll be darned. I had no idea there was such it's a, a business. It's actually a trend, and they're all called virtual brands. They're also called Pizza Concepts. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's, there's a few nationally out, but we are one of the first. And we've only just gotten a market in the last couple of months. We started in Los Angeles. We're based in Hollywood, where the brands are. Uh, but we have them all over the country now. Other markets like Dallas and Vegas. How, how has like this DJ show Pizza been? Has the, Have there been a lot this of folks? Show has been fantastic because, you know, pizza people are wonderful. <laughs> Okay. They're very friendly and they understand, you know, they're smart, they get it. So we had the godfather himself, he's a big WWE fan, like Hall of Famer guy, uh, this gentleman here. He was here for a couple of days and had people come and did signings and take their pictures and uh, hopefully go and buy the pizza from DJs and the other people we have here in town that are selling his yeah, his work. Okay, Allison, a great explanation. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Good to meet you, Diane. It's another Italian company and they are are quite busy with folks. Mind you, it's lunchtime, but assuming they have a good product. Well, here's another sign that's interesting. Pizza stoned, don't ride my ass. This is the only love triangle I need. And it's a triangle of a piece of pizza. Pizza Stoned is very clever because they have set up a place where folks can have their picture taken and it says, I love pizza. But Pizza Stoned is mobile pizza catering, Las Vegas and beyond, booking for kids parties, corporate lunches, weddings, etc. And woman owned, 100% woman owned. This is another mobile pizza uh, kitchen and this is Izzy's Pizza Bus and had lots of stickers on them. They get bigger and bigger. This is Signora Pizza. Wow, with uh, menu boards, etc. You can buy vegetable purees separate from everything else. I stopped at the heat seal booth because I noticed that uh, we were wrapping pizza. Yeah. Go right ahead. This is a center folded film. It's a shrink film. So you put your product in, bring it over into the chamber here, and I'm going to close this arm. And it, now we have a bag around our pizza. Okay. It's going to go through the tunnel, and the tunnel is going to um, help some of the air escape from that bag to give you a nice looking package. Okay, and that should keep your pizza fresh, right? Yes. Whether it's a fresh pizza or frozen. Yep. And the machine, I think, is in the ballpark of about $14,000, so you better be serious about your pizza business. Totally. I'm at the Foremost Farms USA booth where they had some lovely samples of cheese, and I wanted to ask, um, how's the cheese business been? business has been busy. It's, it's been, been busy. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> well, where do you where do you get your cheese? So, we're a co-op, so we have a little bit over a thousand member owners, and so we have a thousand bosses that we report to. We we have six different cheese plants. We have four Italian and two cheddar, and we produce a little bit over 500 million pounds of cheese annually that goes across the world. Are all your um, suppliers Wisconsin people? I think we have suppliers all over the nation. We've got a lot of different packaging suppliers from all over the U.S. Well, I mean the cheese people, the cheese. Oh, no, our cheese is um, shipped mostly in Wisconsin, but it's shipped all over the United States and internationally. Okay, well, let's hope you are doing well at this uh, show. We're having an absolute ton of fun. Okay, good. And the cheese is delicious. The cheese is wonderful. Glad you enjoy it. I guess this is a show where people can buy products and take them home. Well, you don't want to slip on a slippery kitchen floor, so here are shoes by Tread Shape. Tread Safe. Yes, I like all the products that go into pizza. And here is the Toronto Bread Booth. Isn't this lovely? Look at all this bread. We're at the World Pizza.
pizza cookie, an 8 inch pizza cookie. Here it is. Otis Spunkmeyer. Premium pizza flowers. They come in big bags. Create authentically ovens, dough management tools. Lots of people are here talking, looking around, and samples are available. Look at that big oven, and more signs, Fierro. And look at all the sauces here, including buffalo wing slaw sauce, and all the dressings. So if you need all of these for your restaurant, Ken's, a family-owned company, is here. You need to mix the pizza dough. There are some gigantic mixers here. And food service specialties says they will provide the sauce. Lots of trash cans at this show because lots of samples are available and people eat some of the samples, but not all, and they need a place to put the rest. <laughs> The age old high prices, correct high prices, I suspect that'll happen. And it might take it might take a while for it to start to come back down. But. This is Daly's and I was talking to a gentleman here about the price of meat and he says, Well it's not the meat exactly, it's everything around it. Transportation costs, yeah, supplies. The, but the cost of production, the raising of the hogs has gotten more expensive. So I mean the the, the actual what they call supply or the what would be the commodity cost is, is not as relevant to as what it costs to the production side of it. Well, anyway, if you like bacon, it might become a delicacy. It looks great here, and there are no free samples, <laughs> so that may be saying things. Anyway, they have uh, production facilities in several different states. And they are here for folks who want to put bacon on their pizza. Well, if you want to serve dessert with your pizza, there are opportunities here. And uh, they're giving away samples. Uh, Blue Bunny loads or loaded sundas. I can't even read the signs properly. nobody there. I am. There, so and they have little crazy, stickers yeah. as well. Where'd you move from? Indianapolis. Yeah. So, yeah. Right yeah. this is a popular theme these days, sustainable packaging, and here we go. All kinds of trays and plates available. This looks a little more powerful than my KitchenAid. A young man asked if I'd ever done text marketing at my store, and I explained I was press. And they said, well, thank you. Enjoy the show. But anyway, they will help uh, anybody uh, do some marketing via text. 
even though pizza stores more and more are saying, come pick up your pizza, there are folks who still deliver pizza and they need a warm place to put the pizza and keep it hot, oven fresh, continuous heat food delivery systems. And of course, you need to be able to clean up your store when things, when things uh, fall on the floor. We have a model holding his muscular arms in the air. Uh, and uh, Bissell Big Green commercial items are here. <laughs> <laughs> the sign says rethink what ingredients can do so I will start rethinking I've had a wonderful time at Pizza Expo and I have learned a great deal and had a number of very good samples and I will return again next year. Pizza Expo is the place for folks who own pizza restaurants or want to own pizza restaurants or want to learn about owning pizza restaurants. This is where they come and they have a very good time.